Please relax. We are in Obama's brain. That's right. Channel Austin interrupts the bad music to take you inside Obama's brain. You see, Perry Logan has taken matters into his own hands. He realizes, as I think any sane person at this point realizes, that well, we've just got to rein in that whole right-wing thing. We've got to rein in the belief that everything must be done according to the dictates of the merchant class. In other words, America is suffering from a bad case of the conservative blues. And it is a very painful type of blues with many unfortunate symptoms, including constipation, migraines, nasal drip, earaches, Pain in the butt, hemorrhaging deficits, constant war, and the walking wounded everywhere in our country. Fruits of the Republican Revolution include the walking wounded everywhere in our country and very little being done to care, okay? Democrats not coming through, Obama not coming through. That's why we're inside his brain. Perry and you are on a voyage inside Barack Obama's brain where we are going to find the inner progressive, the tiny little progressive that we just kind of hope lies inside Obama's brain. Thank you for watching. What am I doing? Hey, we are inside Obama's brain. That's why it's raining so hard. We are inside Barack Obama's brain. That's why it's so very foggy. We're looking for the inner progressive. And if we can get the inner progressive out, we can start kicking some butt and making America better. I'm, I'm moving back. Okay. Okay, start looking, would you? See, start with these bookcases, all right? Could you just start with this bookcase and see if we can find the inner progressive, the part of Obama that would, for example, smack down that bloody Stupak Amendment. Oh. Just to place this in history, even though we are inside the foggy, foggy brain of Barack Obama. Hi. In case you just tuned in, we are inside the foggy, 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 foggy brain of Barack Obama. Looking for the inner progressive we think he might be. One of these bookies here. But we're not sure there even is one. He hasn't done a progressive thing yet. We keep hoping. The left, well, everybody who pays attention is hoping, okay? Where is that inner progressive? Well, if you want to know the deep truth, you do, don't you? Shh, we're inside Obama's brain. He might be sleeping. Excuse me. We don't want to raise a ruckus here. We're just trying to help. We are in no way trying to hurt the president. On the contrary, the inner progressive Obama would make you the great president we thought you could be. Oh, sometimes Obama, sometimes our hopes get crushed by you. Oh, you crushed our hopes again and again and again and again and again. Ah, the left's hopes are crushed time and time again by Obama betrayals. Betrayal? 
can, we are inside the brain of a guy we love, but he is so far to the right so far, he could perhaps be called a party traitor? <laughs> no? Okay, well, we won't call him a party traitor. He is the furthest right Democrat we've ever found. He, he boggles the mind, he boggles the imagination. I could go on and on, but all we need to do is, oh, come on, let's find out. Was there anything to the progressives hope at all? Was there much, I, you know, much of anything? I'm not saying Obama is nothing. It's not that he's nothing, you know, but he's very, very, very little. He is, it, I really mean it in most respects, far worse than I thought. And I saw through him from the get-go. And I was pretty sure from the get-go that there was a no inner progressive to be released, okay? It just took going into his brain to find anything remotely progressive. I defy you to find anything substantively uh, progressive. So far from being taken over by extremists or, or socialists or any of that nonsense that the right spews, uh, the Democrats have been taken over by a just dismally <laughs> dismally right-wing Democrat. I think a Democrat far enough to the right to be. Yes, 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 yes. This looks to be the center of Obama's brain. Hi, uh, we are here now. And I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of a disco ball or something. I think this is the very core in the center of Obama's brain. And I don't see anything left wing. And it's not coming out in his actions. If there's an inner progressive here, he or she, We'll stop our illegal wars. We'll get a single payer health insurance. And don't forget that business about hurting your right to Utah. The right are traitors. Republicans are traitors. They have brought the republic to their knees. The right are traitors. They are traitors when they're in power. There were traitors taking dumps in the White House for eight straight years. Tell them, Perry. Oh, it's true? There were traitors taking dumps in the White House for eight straight years? Doesn't that just go your card? There were traitors. Mm. Shut up. Shut up, all of you. We're inside Obama's brain. We're looking for the inner progressive. But, but, but doesn't he just go your card? That there were traitors taking dumps in the White House for eight straight years. It just makes us psychotic. New slash, new slash. President Obama's administration has taken a sharp left turn. Nobody knows what's going on. All we know is that we have a new groovy left wing. President Obama, a new kick the butt of the right. Super liberal Dennis Kucinich style. Let's do it the right way. Let's save America with progressive policies. Obama. Thanks very much, you see, to Perry Logan who went inside Obama's brain and released the inner progressive. <laughs> <laughs>